I got in trouble with the police and so will you. Well, that's not good. Most of what I do on this channel is update you guys on drama happening in the streaming world and that's about it. But sometimes I like to look out for you guys. I like to watch your back and update you on things happening in the world that might affect your life. And a recent news story I think might change the way you have to talk. Because you might have been committing a crime for the past few years without even knowing about it. Don't know what I'm talking about? Well, I'm going to play you guys a clip. And I want you to see if you've been guilty of doing the action that happens in this clip. It involves Daph, and she was asked whether she would rather fight 100 Hassan-sized ducks or 100 duck-sized Hassans. If I fight 100... Hassan sized ducks, they're not Hassan. I would, would rather beat the shit out of Hassan. In Minecraft. There it is. Oh, in it's the Minecraft. I, yeah, I the get it. The smoking gun. Okay. The catch all defense. Nobody that fucking believes this, okay? There's nobody that actually is like, if you ever said that you were gonna like kill the president in Minecraft, the, the fucking Secret Service would be at your house. Okay? Like, let's cut the bullshit. Anybody that actually thought in Minecraft was a real defense was a fucking five-year-old. You'd have to be five years old to believe this. Nobody thinks this. This is just, You'd have to be a, a, a fucking mental idiot to think that in Minecraft is going to somehow solve this problem. It's a disclaimer. There's no shot. It's crazy. Is Twitch TOS that created that shit? No, it's not. The guy that said this, the 4chan guy? The guy that said this was, uh... What do you call it? Uh, he, he was on 4chan. He wasn't on Twitch. Twitch didn't do this at all. Kids are always discovering reality. Yeah. No, uh, no government. Yeah, it's the, go it's the government's TOS. Saying in Minecraft before you say anything or after you say anything, it, it's like... <laughs> it's not... <laughs> what fucking idiot thought this was... This was how it worked. I, I can't believe that a real person actually thought that. He threatened to shoot a sheriff and they had multiple times in Minecraft. Yes. Big fucking surprise, the sheriff showed up at the house. Again, you say this about any official like this, the Secret Service is going to be at your fucking house. Absolutely. Like, it, it, how is this even a question? people have been using for millennia since day dot anytime you say anything too aggressive maybe you're in a valorant solo i don't even agree i don't even believe that i think that if you told somebody you should kill yourself in minecraft in valorant they would ban you i think that they would ban you instantaneously you think riot's gonna fuck around with that bullshit no the second that they say that like yeah bro you're done you're out we know what you're doing get out of here yeah what is this Yes, yeah, the four-year-old shit. What is the? Oh my god! Fuck you! And you're the duelist, and you're entering, and you're trading out one for one. But your pussy-ass teammates don't follow you in. So you want to enter into to, to your comms and say you guys should fucking kill yourself in Minecraft because mm -hmm. you because you because come on. You, it came out a little too harsh. You were a little too yeah. heated in the moment. People have, people do this. People do this. I don't do this, but people do this. People do this. They do. But that. nowadays. It could get you into some serious trouble. It always could. It always could. This was a ridiculous defense. That the oh, like, do you really think that? The, do you think there's any fucking uh, what, what's the word for it? Um, there's a, any any legal precedence for like better call Saul Saul Goodman coming up? Well. In my client's defense, Your Honor, he didn't say he would kill, you know, Mr. Whoever, Mr. Sheriff here. He said he would kill him in Minecraft. And if anybody doesn't know here, Minecraft is a popular video game, and it's not in real life. Yeah, there, there's, no, uh, there's no precedent for this. It is insane. The in Minecraft defense doesn't exist. 
I, can't, I I'm losing my fucking mind that this is even a that, 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 that a real person ever even considered this was a possibility. How? And I have to give you a little bit of context. It started with a proposed bill yes. in a county in Florida where they want to start attacking hate crime a little more seriously. Okay. And I'm just going to roll out the first few seconds. If you graffiti a building, it is a crime now. Yeah. But if your motivation is hate, it will be a third degree felony. You will spend five years in prison. Okay. If you want to litter, it's a crime right now. Sure. But if you litter and it, your motivation is a hate crime, it will be a third degree felony. You will spend five years in jail. See I don't even know what that means. Okay. All right. What, what is, what is a, what, how can you, I want to understand that, like, how is littering like, so littering is a, like hate littering. Do we have this? Has this happened? I'm sure it has. Bro, I would never want to work in the fucking law enforcement. Never. Because you have to deal with littering hate crimes. And you have to deal with people that are littering because they're racist in a certain place because that place is full of people of a race that they don't like. It's like you're dealing with five-year-olds that are fucking 25 and they have a gun. And they're mad. You just took away Nintendo from them. Oh my god, being a police officer would suck so much dick. Jesus, that would be awful. Imagine you have to deal with it, and, and they fucking hate you. And and they're trying to act like they're not doing it. They're recording you. What's your badge off what's your badge number, officer? Meanwhile, they're like stealing things out of the store, and you just want them to put the stuff back, and they won't even put the stuff back. God, I couldn't I I would not want to deal with that ever. A literate that. hate crime is like dropping mayo and attack on all of my white ancestors. Oh. I don't really get that part, but the person to note is the person in the back who is the actual sheriff yeah. who doubles down on these statements and gets kind of aggressive with it. You came to the wrong county. I stand with my Jewish friends and I'm honored to be on your hit list. It's an honor to be to be sought after by a bunch of punk thugs like you. Okay. Now, I'm with this guy. I stand with... I. I stand with going against anti I I stand with Jewish people. You don't like Nazis, Ludwig. We get it. Most people don't. We have like this whole war thing about it. Yeah, it was like a big deal. I I, I think anti Semitism is cringe. I think that's a pretty easy statement yeah. to get behind. But he went pretty Most hard right there. I don't know if I doubled down that put a bullet in the back of my head. By the way, somebody fucking <laughs> I saw some fucking YouTube comment uh, about me. And it said, Asmon is so based. And the reply was, what do you mean he's based? He hasn't spoken out against the Jews once. And it had more likes than the original fucking comment. <laughs> like, what do you mean he's based? People have lost their fucking minds. It's crazy. And then everybody else is below that. Like, yeah. What the fuck? Even that, that put me on a hit list thing, that's that's a little bit crazy. And so people started to put him on a bit of a hit list. Yeah, and they started to give off. him some shit online. Yeah. And it started with actually his own Twitter account. This is Sheriff mm -hmm. Mike Chitwood. And on Twitter, he posted this interaction where he tweeted out about some scumbag white supremacists who harass people in this country. Real thing. And then in response to this, some anonymous Twitter users said, I feel so much safer knowing this guy will protect me from wrong thinking and squash the First Amendment. Yeah, whatever. His hard drive and all electronics should be confiscated and searched. He's owned, compromised. Sick guy. You want, you want a dude that's wearing a bra in some fucking strip club to be fucking... To have his shit searched? What a waste of government money. Like... That's a mat. Like, I don't want my money spent on that bullshit. I, it's, what the fuck is this? This is so wild. And, and yeah, God he's, damn. He's wearing a bra. And Mike replies okay. and he says, These racist, bigoted, anonymous losers really think they're hurting my feelings with a photo from an event where we raised thousands for breast cancer research. We already know you're not that smart. That's why you guys became bigots. Damn, fire, fire comeback. Fire comeback from Mike. Mike Doesn't was throwing the heat fuck. on Twitter. 
And so they took it from Twitter to a place where they get a little rowdier, 4chan. What a surprise. And this was some of the posts, or at least one of the posts, that was said about Sheriff Chitwood on Twitter. Or, excuse me, 4chan. Uh, and these words are blocked out, but I'll read them. Just shoot Chitwood in the head and he stops being a problem. They have to find a new guy to be the problem. But shooting Chitwood in the head solves an immediate problem permanently. Just shoot Chitwood in the head and murder him. In Minecraft. Which, which man, that that is uh, doing a lot of heavy lifting right there. That th This is that's doing... That's a lot of... That, bro, that's a... That's a lot. And... This is doing a lot And the right thing is, like, imagine if you're Sheriff Mike, okay? This is Sheriff Mike. Isn't this guy in Florida? I, I just want to make sure. Yeah, is this, is it, this was in Florida, right? Bro, Sheriff Mike from Florida. You think you're going to step to Sheriff Mike and he's not going to pull your IP? And he's not going to pull you out of your mama's house? Uh-uh. No shot. Right now. Okay? In Minecraft? Oof. Oof. That's, you guys that's... think about how much of a fucking asshole you have to be to be a sheriff in Florida. How much of a dick you have to be to rise to that level. And you honestly thought that you could challenge him in Minecraft? <laughs> Shohei Otani on the, on, the, on, the, on the Japanese team. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I barely watch baseball. But it's doing a lot of heavy lifting is what I'm trying to say. But apparently not enough heavy lifting. There we because go. Because the police found out about this. The, of the course. Like, Florida Central Intelligence Agency notified Sheriff Chitwood and then found out where the guy lives, oh, which yeah. is in New Jersey. Then they no got the problem. New Jersey or New Brunswick police involved. Well, you got another person who's like, what about states' rights, brother? What about what? What about all that states' rights, brother? How about that? <laughs> you, you see, like this is the way these people work. And then they went to his house with the search Not warrant those rights. and try to extradite the guy back to Florida. And this was the interaction that yeah, followed. Of Hi, ma'am. Is Richard here? Yeah. Can you have him come to the door, please? We'll we'll discuss it in a second. This is presumably sure, Richard's mom, the guy who said all that stuff. Who would have guessed? I, I want you guys to take just Richard. a guess of what Richard looks like. Richard! I don't know who they are. <laughs> South Brunswick Police. South Brunswick Police. Just so you know, we're uh, audiovisually recording. Richard, recording. can you step down here, please? Uh-oh, here yeah, he come comes. Here. Down here. Come here, Richard. What's up, Come on down this way. How are you? How are you doing? Fine. Thank God. Like, I'd be like, well, the funny fucking thing with this shit is, like, I thought this dude, like, from the back, looked kind of like me. I was like, wait, what the fuck? Wearing a white t-shirt like this. Just skinny as hell arms, yeah. <laughs> okay. But he, he's a big dude. The most New Jersey accented how you doing into an immediate arrest. How you doing? And they got the guy. <laughs> we got some okay. questions for you. They arrested the guy. And not only did they arrest him, he did the number one thing you should never do, which uh -huh. is which is always applicable. It doesn't matter what you do in life. They got him to talk to the police before actually like being on trial, where he admitted to posting that on 4chan and saying that they should kill and murder Chitwood. Uh, and so they're probably not going to do anything to him. The thing is, they don't need to. Sheriff Mike doesn't have time to actually deal with this dude. He just wants everybody to know that he could deal with them if he wanted to. They're just trying to scare him. Just say, listen, you got to play these fucking games. You're going to win some prizes, bitch. Yeah, it's intimidating. Yeah, they're not going to waste their fucking time putting this dude in jail. And so, you know, they, they're charging him. They're charging him for, for uh, that, no that threat. No uh, and no. not only are no, they charging up. the guy. Maybe I'm wrong. Sheriff Chitwood is stunting on him. After the arrest, what? he posted on Twitter like a oh, celebration no. picture of the arrest. What a shame. A 4chan troll has come out of his room. Thank you to the... the, the oh, my God. Sheriff Mike. Oh, he actually thought he was going to fucking... This guy actually thought he was going to step to a Florida fucking sheriff.
<laughs> if we really thought that was going to happen. Police department, the Brunswick Police Department. And then he's got this picture of him. Not only does he post about it on Twitter, he then Parade. doubles down <laughs> by Brent parading the poor bastard out there. <laughs> yeah. See, this what happened. You talk shit. Having a press conference. And I'll share with you what a. What are. What are <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Respect looks like. Where he just pulls up the pick of the guy and then goes on to say how easy it was to. F it's Florida. Um. I don't. This, this might be a hidden Asmund Gold lore, but um, uh, the reason I know this is because my great grandfather was a sheriff in Florida, and he was a fucking asshole. Like nobody wanted to be around him, nobody really liked him. He was a sheriff for like thirty years, but he was a fucking dick. find him how they found him how they arrested him and how he's going to be in a world of fucking hurt because he's going to mm -hmm. get charged with a pretty serious yep. damn crime there it and is. that's and that's anyway why you no longer are able to use the the in minecraft excuse or in grant the thought you were never able to the police just never gave a fuck you were never able to do this. This was never a defense. This was never a... You never even had a fraction of a chance of getting away with this. Absolutely not. It was insane that people were even stupid enough to believe that it was a possibility. It was insane. Or in Valorant or in League of Legends or in any other fictional video game yeah. as your excuse to do the heavy lifting... To soften yeah. whatever fucked up shit you said before. Exactly. So maybe it's time we start loosening it up a little bit. Maybe maybe we start maybe we start getting a little more chill in these lobbies and start start being a little nicer, perhaps. But I will let Don't make threats at government officials. Because whenever you are in the government, you make the rules. And whenever you make the rules, you are in control. That's the way it works. It's that simple. Don't fuck with people that are elected officials or government officials. Because they can ruin your fucking life. It might not be fair. But it doesn't, doesn't matter if it's fair. Whenever your life is ruined? No. I ended on one note. Because, I, you know, we gotta go off the bang here. I will fucking destroy... I will kill mm -hmm. everybody. Let me rephrase that. I will beat everybody, beat their ass at TSM. That's right. At, t at Team Solo Mid, TSM, in Valorant. Okay. In Valorant. That, it's in Valorant. And this one, look, it's actually true because the Moist Moguls are going to play TSM today in the first ever tournament. Did they win? For our Valorant team. All right? So it's Moist Moguls against TSM happening at 4 p.m. today. And I'll be live watching yes, the whole damn. thing because our right. boys were amazing after we signed them. They've been crushing teams left and right, including FaZe. And so TSM's just another little robot. I didn't even know the guard was still around. I thought they got, uh, I thought they, they closed the whole thing. We're going we're gonna to kill you in the video game. In the video game. We're going to, in Valorant, we will kill you. Because yeah. that's how it works. You shoot people in the head. So anyway, that, that's what we're going to do. Thanks for watching, everybody. Subscribe uh, if you like it. And see you later. All right, have a good one. Goodbye. Have a great rest of your day in, uh, uh, in real life. <laughs> I love how people are actually stupid enough to not understand the nuance. And that they think that because they, they're so stupid. This is like, you know what it reminds me of? This in Minecraft thing. It reminds me of whenever I was in like fourth or sixth grade. And they told me no running in the halls. And I started running in the halls. And they were like, why are you running? Stop running. I said, I wasn't running. I'm walking fast. They said, okay, come here. Come here. Yeah, you're gonna. You're in ISS now. You're in, in school suspension for the rest of the day. No, we don't play games with you. Uh-uh. Nope. Right there. There it is. That's done. Yeah, come here. I said, yeah, Cody knows. Yeah, that's what, that's what used to happen. <laughs> yeah, you fuck around with them. Yeah, want to see you run? Nah, that's the thing. Yeah, you...
because that's like a that's like a sixth grade. This is the mind of a sixth grader that thinks that this is anything more than just bullshit. This reminds me of a kid as uh, is saying fudge instead of fuck. Yeah, exactly. Like, I just I can't believe that anybody really thought this was a good idea. Like, I, I am just astonished that anybody even had the the smallest inkling of a, of a belief that it could be possible that maybe this would not immediately fucking get the authorities involved. It's nuts, man. If you live in a society, you must follow society's rules. I mean, that's it. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Yeah, spoiled well, Americans, I'll never insult police in our country. Bro, you got no problem. You want to call Sheriff Mike a bald-ass bitch? You want to call Sheriff Mike a stupid ass? You want to say that he got no idea what he's talking about? You want to say he shouldn't be the sheriff? You want to say he's ugly? You can do any of that. You can criticize the police all you want. You can say any of that stuff and it's totally fucking fine, but don't go around talking about killing people. Uh, D, what happened to the Debo lazy bit? Yeah, exactly. That didn't fuck. Yeah, in our high school, like, that shit did not last. Yeah, people fuck around. We had a police station on our fucking campus. We learned real quick, don't fuck around with the officers and they won't fuck around with you. It doesn't matter if it's fair or not. That's just what's going to happen. Yeah, and a daycare. That's right. Empty threats and still threats. Uh, was still threats on raise eyebrows? Yeah, they take a 4chan comment seriously. There's other shit they can actually is fucking scary. They give two shits. No, I absolutely believe that the government should prosecute and and follow and 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 follow up with people that uh, publish threats online. Absolutely, because if they don't, then people just get uh, they get too comfortable doing it. And if people know that there's no risk in doing it, everybody will do it. And then whenever everybody does it, it makes it hard to know. Yeah, there's a lot of false positives. I absolutely think like. You're talking about threatening a fucking elected law official. You cannot do that. That you you can't have a world that runs like that. It it, it doesn't work that way. Yeah, it is nuts. How's my glows in the dark? <laughs> so do you. You post on these fucking subreddits. They're gonna find you in the dark. Like just like that happened. Yeah, you can do it. Just don't be surprised when they come down on you. Exactly. Kind of uh, crazy. A threat on 4chan gets so much attention, but there's been other threats to other things that never got taken seriously. Ended up with that because Sheriff Mike's a fucking asshole. That's why everybody's talking about it because this dude's an absolute fucking dickhead. This guy's a massive fucking dickhead. And, and not only is he a dickhead, but he's a dickhead who has a lot of power and authority. So guess what this dickhead does? Well, he swings it around and slaps people around with it all the time. That's why they're talking about him. That's why it's popular. Yeah, he's just a massive fucking asshole. Where's the Fallen trailer? Yeah, let's see here. Charlie uh, got arrested. That's funny. Uh, I feel like this would be a pretty hard case for the state to make. Potentially a case for a lawsuit. Still amazing, bro. If you actually think that... If you actually think you're going to convince a jury that in Minecraft... <laughs> that is just funny to me. Oh, man. That is just fucking funny. But the dude was an idiot for talking to the police like that. It's already abusing power. It's a fucking corrupt country. No, it's not. It's not abusing power at all. Uh, I totally support, like, I, I'm not even saying I support, like, putting people in jail for, like, littering as a hate crime. You put somebody in jail for that? Seems like a bit much. But, like, it doesn't matter. Like, if you don't like a law, there is a system that you go through to change the law. You don't just get to shoot somebody because you don't like the law. That's the way it goes. Yeah, you don't get to just shoot. Like, that's, if we had that... Then every after every election, there'd just be a bunch of shootings. And we could never have an election again because anybody gets voted for, they're going to get shot. You see, how the, you see how everything falls apart if we let something like this go on? Yeah, it, it's nuts, man. 
if it was easy to change how come it's it, it, it's all so shit because people are stupid and they're easily confused it's so it's it's a very a lot of things are easy to do but they're hard to do it's like most people oh man i want to work out i want to have a good physique okay go to the gym well i mean like it it's easy it's easy to say but it's harder to do yeah it's hard to implement yeah Problem with laws like this, they usually intended for a specific purpose, get enforced haphazardly or too loosely. <laughs> well, hit me up when it's enforced too loosely, because I feel like this is just tight enough. Totally fucking agree. People get too, they get, what's the word for it? They're too comfortable. Too comfortable sitting there talking shit like this. Talk, talking out their ass on the internet like this. Thank God. Fucking like, somebody put this dude in his place. What a little bitch.